The UBI has been a massive success story in India. From a Kirana store vendor to the biggest of brands, everybody is accepting UPI payments. It has almost become a default setting for many. It's difficult to believe that we started using it as recently as 2016. And now, just a few years later, India is getting ready to launch its digital rupee. The central bank launched a pilot program for the retail e-rupee on 1st of December. But what is this digital rupee? or the e-rupee and how is it different from UPI? Why do we even need it? If you've got these questions too, I'm here to simplify and break it down for you in this video. If you're curious about the digital rupee, then you must have also heard about the CBDC. In fact, these terms are used interchangeably. The digital rupee is nothing but a central bank digital currency which is issued by the central bank. In India, this would be the RBI. An e-rupee token of 100 rupees is a digital version of the 100 rupee note. It has the same value and liability. Digital currencies are making a buzz across the world. Central banks in over 100 countries are exploring the concept of digital currencies. More than 10 countries have already rolled out a digital currency of their own for mass use. When I first learned about the e-rupee, one thing that got me very curious was how is it different from cryptocurrency? Because the e-rupee is digital in nature and developed using blockchain technology, many have been asking if the e-rupee is a cryptocurrency. No, it is not. With cryptocurrencies, a prime feature is decentralization. The e-rupee, on the other hand, will be issued by one central authority, that is, the RBI. The central bank, in fact, in a concept note in October highlighted, and I quote, It is substantially not different from bank notes, but being digital, it is likely to be easier, faster and cheaper. The e-rupee has been categorized in two broad segments, the first being general purpose or retail, called CBDC retail, which will be available to all stakeholders. The second is called CBDC Wholesale. Only a few financial institutions will be able to use this. Now coming to the most popular question, how will the digital rupee work? The e-rupee will be issued in the form of a digital token in the same denominations that paper currency and coins are currently used. Just like we hold paper currency in a physical wallet, people can use e-rupee tokens in digital wallets on their mobile phones and other devices. And just like we use cash from a physical wallet to make a payment, we will be able to make payments with the e-rupee using the digital wallet. Payments can be made in both categories, person to person as well as person to merchant through QR codes. So back to the question that we started this video with. When we have the UPI, why do we need the e-rupee? After all, we use UPI all the time, for even something as small as buying a chewing gum. So people are logically questioning the need for the digital rupee and its possible use cases. Here is one main difference. Any UPI transaction involves the intermediation of a bank. A UPI app uses the balance in our bank accounts to transfer money. It is essentially a bank-to-bank -bank transfer using an app. The e-rupee, on the other hand, will involve no such intermediation from a bank. It is like a gift card that is already paid for. It can be transferred directly from one wallet to another, similar to how physical cash moves. So when do we get to use the e-rupee? The central bank is yet to announce a date for the full-scale introduction of the digital rupee for mass use. I spoke to some industry insiders and they expect a full-scale launch in early 2023. Lastly, why do we need the e-rupee and what are its pros and cons? Industry experts have cited concerns related to mass adoption, lack of trust and cyber security threats as possible challenges. The e-rupee will help the central bank bring down operational costs such as printing of notes and dispersing them to different parts of the country. The e-rupee is likely to help those who don't have an internet connection but might want to make an offline payment. It is also safer compared to challenges that cryptocurrencies pose to the traditional financial system. So that's the e-rupee for you. I hope I've answered some of your questions. If you have more, leave them in the comments below and we will include them in our next video. 
Do subscribe to Deccan Harul's YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when we release the next video. Follow Deccan Harul on all our social media channels and log on to deccanharul.com for the latest news and updates. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.